Hi, I'm Mike Benton. I'm Professor of Paleontology at the University of Bristol. Um, I founded the Masters in Paleobiology back in 1996 uh, and it started off quite small uh, but it's grown ever since and now more than 350 students have graduated. Uh, typically each year there's something like 25 or 30 students attending uh, and you're joining a, a very large paleobiology group, uh, often rated as the best in the world consisting of seven or eight professors plus uh, another 50 or 60 researchers. One of the big advantages of coming to Bristol is that we have seven members of staff with a diverse range of interests. Things like vertebrate paleontology, invertebrate paleontology, paleobotany, micropaleontology and microbial evolution. And we have the facilities on site to enable you to study all those different topics. We have a CT scanner, we have a tomography lab with 10 high-end workstations with software installed that will enable you to do image analysis and biomechanical analysis. We have wet lab facilities for molecular paleobiology. We also have all the computational expertise that you would need to do things like macroevolution, phylogenetics and phylogenomics. Our students join us from a wide range of different backgrounds. We have biologists, geologists, chemists, physicists, and we'll provide you with a range of taught units that will all bring you up to the same level. So for example, if you come from a geology background, we'll provide you with an option in evolutionary biology. Likewise, if you come from a biology background, we'll provide you with a taught course in geology that will bring you up to the level of a research paleobiologist. I'm one of the current paleobiology master's students. I'm currently working on the skull biomechanics of Mesozoic terrestrial crocodilians with Professor Emily Rayfield. Coming to Bristol from Bangalore or anywhere in the world is a big move. You're coming to a new city and a new country. The MSc here in Bristol is the largest of its kind, so you quickly make lots of friends. We're all from different places and have different backgrounds, but we share the same passion for fossils, so you feel right at home. Over the years, we're really pleased that so many of our students have been successful. At least a third have gone on to do PhDs. Uh, and a lot of the training we offer, of course, is, is directed towards that. And we're really pleased to keep as many students here to do PhDs in Bristol as we can. Uh, but equally, a large number go, go to work in museums uh, and education and other areas of commerce. My name is Melissa, and I am currently doing my PhD here at the University of Bristol. Two years ago, I did my master's degree and I was working on ungulate community dynamics under the supervision of Professor Christine Janis. Upon completion of my project, I presented my results at an international paleontological conference where I won an award for best poster. A great strength of the degree is that we focus a lot on methods. We teach you all of the computational and laboratory methods that you would need to be a successful paleontologist, but many of these methods are of great use in a much wider range of employment. If I had to give you one reason why you should join the Bristol Paleobiology Group, it's because we've recently been voted the number one paleontology research group in the world. So if you join the MSc programme, you can be part of this diverse, challenging, research active and collegiate environment. We look forward to receiving your application and welcoming you here in September. <laughs>